Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Hearts of Iron 3 with the Black Ice Mon. This is Keeves, and we are playing as Hungry. Uh, a couple things I've changed. Uh, in order to fill up our industrial capacity requirements, I am building test sites, rocket test sites, because... I don't know. I know that I don't know what else to use my industrial capacity for other than things that require massive amounts of clicking like this, making a fortress wall against the Soviet border here. I don't know why I'm doing this. I can't see myself going to war with the Soviets, and even if I do, they'll probably just storm over the wall because I have no troops there. But the way I see it is... I have nothing better to use my industrial capacity for at the moment, and I don't like it going to waste. It's one of those things where it's like, industrial capacity is a bottleneck so often. So, might as well use it now to get rid of things, these things now, than have to worry about it later. Right? Makes sense to me. Use it now while I have the industrial capacity to do stuff I don't really want to spend the industrial capacity on. Or really care to. And although it's a pain in everybody's ass, at least then it's done. It's a lot of clicking, but when it's needed, it's there. Right? 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 Yeah, I guess so. Probably not, but whatever. It can only help, I guess. It takes a lot of clicking, though. I'm actually gonna start it up again, but slower motion. Actually, no. It doesn't need to be slow. So, we have our Air Force in place. I made a mistake, however, I formed them all together, all by accident. So now we have one big uh, air wing of like 400 planes, so I do have to separate those. Um, we have air bases set up in Ireland, uh, although I don't know if we have air bases equipped to handle that many that many planes. I'd actually have to take a look and see how many they can handle. Like how many planes a fully decked out airfield can repair or take care of. Because if it's like seven, well then, no, we don't have enough. I've also upped my um, my uh, officer recruitment. Before, last video we had it at 10. Now it's up to 15. So there we go. There we go. Now we got roads going everywhere and for no reason. Everywhere and for no reason. Might as well. There we go. Everywhere and for no reason. Might as well set that up. So it's, I know I'm, I'm kind. Of, I kind of feel bad that we're putting menial tasks on this video, but uh, hey, this is content, right? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's part of the game. Is what the game is. It what is what the you know. If you want to play Hearts of Iron 3, there is some really cool things. Looking at strategy, looking at how to utilize uh, troop movements, how to look at very different 
aspects and, and many different aspects, right? You're, you're not just, it's not just a straight approach to this game. Like there's so many different aspects to think about. So because of that, um, sometimes lots and lots of clicking is part of that aspect. It's part of that, I wouldn't say that charm, but it's part of the way the game is played. Let's see what we got here. We're going to put these units right there, just in case, like, uh, we're sitting them on the choke point, just in case the, uh, the Americans decide to push back. I have them right there. Okay, that air base is done, that one is done, that one is done, that one's almost done, that one is just built. That one is not doing anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> These rebellions are popping up, these uprisings, and they do absolutely nothing. Okay. I think it is time. It is time to do this. We have spent enough time at this. The least we can do is take out Ireland. The only thing I want to look at is... So here we go. 213 interceptors, 100 close air support, and two fighter bombers. So. Let's move these guys right there so it's easier to split them up. So let's do six, that's seven. Son of a bitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. There. That's six. And we're gonna put you right there. What's this? Six. Close air support. That's six close air support. I wish there was a better way to do this.
got seven. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three groups of 20 as well. just to utilize the massive bombing kind of thing. So we'll do three of 18. Well, there's a couple reasons why I want to do it that way. Uh, first of all, massive bombing if we have larger groups. Secondly, uh, we only have a limited amount of generals, right, for our air groups. So I'm going to have to have a bunch of larger air groups, air wings to be able to handle, I'll put this down to three speed, um, don't feel as laggy, well it isn't laggy, it's just a small, um, anyways, uh, many large, or a few larger air groups just so that we have the generals to be able to do this, right? Otherwise, we'll run out. We don't want that. Don't want that at all. Let's take a look at this technology here. Search is what we're waiting for. And that is someplace I can find. There it is. So June 12th. That's done. possible. 
I figure if we have 200 <laughs> interceptors split up into groups of 18 um, or smaller groups even though it's like that we still should have quite a bit of coverage I don't see any combat hits because of because of the size, so 18 should be fine. These guys obviously need promotions. Let's actually see, because if we go here, oh no, it doesn't tell us shit. Okay, we're going to turn off automatic deployment, because we don't want that anymore. each day effectively. Well, fuck. That doesn't help us when we have 200 odd planes to worry about. These are major air bases. That's what those are. That'd be nice to have major air bases. Okay. Actually, I wonder if there's technology for construction air base blueprints. Let's do that. get agriculture because why not ok 
Okay. Elastic defense done. All right. Now, here it is. We're going to declare war on Great Britain. We're going to do that. Excuse me, I just burped. I don't know if you heard it or not. <laughs> okay. We're going to declare a war. We're going to conquer the UK, like so. I'm going to just pause it while we do that. Because we got these guys that need to be moved. This guy especially needs to go there. And this guy needs to go down there. Um, the rest of these guys, there, 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 there. We need to go there. Like so. There, like so. There, like so. And then the last dude, he needs to go up. No, he needs to go there. And then up like so. Okay. No. You guys need to go like this. And you guys need to go like that. Good. I'd rather have them attack me, that's fine. Okay. This looks like it's going quite nicely. We lost 3,000, they lost 25,000. I'm okay with that. We lost 6,000, they lost 17,000. Again, okay with that. That was very close on both sides, but it's just a tiny little bit, really, when it comes down to it. So, what we want to do. Um, or essentially what I would like to do is to set up Ireland for a base of operations to inevitably beat the piss out of oh, look at that range anything within a specific range so air intercept Good. Let's actually give these up a bit. Priorities. Prioritize. Okay.
units in poor supply. Every unit. What kind of supply are they poor on? Probably fuel. Oh, and supplies. Everything. Nice. Gotta love it. Really? God damn it. I hate it when units shatter, it drives me absolutely insane. See, this is exactly what I thought it'd be like. It would be like, go into offensive, get into one or two fights, and our manpower gets sucked down by like 50. And these guys aren't moving even close to fast enough. Really? <sighs> Come on. Mine Fiora. Our blueprints were stolen.
Alright. This will give us... Battle fast. There we go. The nice thing about taking those guys out is that those troops literally just disappear. So, that's the best part. And then we get Belfast, which is a nice big... big town, or port probably, most likely. 80 power. So, if we were in serious invasion of of uh, England here, our manpower will drop so fast. <laughs> It'll be stupid. Just stupid. How quickly we lose manpower. So we're going to have to find ways to make them lose manpower because that was just this 80 manpower for this get rid of that pop-up window because really I don't think I've ever read it once nor has it caused me any concern uh, let's do Ministry of Foreign Affairs because I actually think that's a pretty decent one no need and we don't need commander units okay so um, I'm going to end the recording here, however, we have effectively taken over Ireland, which is nice, um, however, it's not really the big, it's not the big cheese, uh, we do have to take out the UK. That being said... That movement's going along quite nicely. Let's up this oil production right here. Oil rig, oil refinery. That shit's important. We're gonna need it. Especially since our oil has dropped a stupid amount in a very short amount of time. We've lost like 20,000 barrels of oil in half a year. So we need more oil. Now there's ways around that. I could just make my like, army less mechanized, get rid of the mechanized infantry, blah blah blah, blah put that all back to, back into inventory units it'll take six months to do maybe longer but at least then I'll never have a fuel shortage and then I can go ballistic with 
planes. However, that's when you got manpower problems. When you got infantry, just straight infantry. Uh, yeah. We'll figure something out. Well, I'm thinking about upgrading these light tanks into heavier tanks. Into actual heavy armor. But that's for another time. Anyways, I'm going to end the recording here. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Until then, Keeves out.